It makes sense why Rashad Jamal got locked up right before this 2-2-2 two, two, two gate and break down 5-1-4. That's 2-2-2-1-4. Two, 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 so that's 2-2-2-2-2-2 two, 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 two gate. That's about to appear up in like six days. So they're going to be pushing their agenda more than ever right now. So be mindful. I'm telling you, do not let them push their agenda. You know what I'm saying? Everything's against them. So they already lost and they already tried to go back in time and time travel a hundred thousand times and they lost. So now they're trying to utilize fear to stop. And so you can manifest them because you're technically the creator because we ship to the 5D. So whatever you focus and believe, you will create. So do not fall for anything right now. I'm telling you, and I like I have to tell myself that because I almost like fell for a trap like five times, and that's within the last 12 hours. I'm like, damn, if these niggas sending me a lot of shit, imagine other people, and other people are really they're not aware, they're more susceptible. I'm trying to help y'all, like Rashad Jamal right now, because Rashad Jamal's not here. So for this 2222 gate, keep your thoughts high. Just know any, anything they try is false. All right, you understand? The old ways is done. That's why people are trying to pull out them extra cards, them extra maneuvers, because they're like, oh shit, they freaking out. They panicking. Oh, they they in they in they in chaotic state. I mean, not the good one, but they they understand because they they're under pressure because they know what time it is because they know there's no way around it. So now the only thing you can do is you can basically take yourself out if you fall for it and you're not aware of it. So practice discernment. Discernment is key. <sighs> Be able to look through things by just analyzing things and asking yourself questions. Does this make sense? Does this make sense? Why do this? Why, why is Rashad Jamal locked up a week? No. No, the same weekend as Mother's Day weekend, four days before my birthday, and six days before this 22222 gate that's about to pop up. Who these people understand time and numbers. They understand and they do everything on the most powerful gates. So we just knowing our discernment and knowing that we we can't no longer be retarded and sheep, we have to claim back our because who's gonna do for us? than us, you feel me? I know there's a lot of disarray out there. I'm telling you, I be out there and this shit feel weird, bro. I'm telling you, man, I was like, I was, man, this lady was all staring like, I'm like, uh, she must be the boss. He was like, oh yeah, uh-huh, she's the uh, shadowing. I'm like, damn, the lady was watching my hands, watching my, you know, my piece that I had, you know what I'm saying, watching everything. Nah, none of his weapon wise, it's just a little piece of valuables, you know? And I'm like, Bro, I'm saying it's a little interesting. It's very interesting, but don't give it any, cause I just show love. I just like, this is where I park my car. <laughs> you know, like, I keep my earphones in. I just be like, yeah. Oh shit, man. Just like, you calm me down, man. I feel, uh, I feel, I, I, I just feel unsafe right now. This lady is like, bro, it was crazy, bro. She remind me of, uh, never mind. So anywho, practice discernment because there's a lot more things and they don't have the power it's, it's much more different than what you think it is the power is not there it's very actually exchange it's the ones you don't really realize all right so that's what's going on right now the spiritual war is heavenly right now so stay off of social media as much as you can you will be affected you it will anchor you down to a low vibration they are literally adamant about anchoring and lowering you down right now it is crucial you do not be or you just practice discernment just don't believe a damn thing if you go on social media like that because it is crazy and that will lower you down and cause you to be in a depressive it just it does so much shit it makes you tired it drains you look i'm like this only because i was on social media you see that but normally i'm like ah, you know because i'm always working out because working out is fun you feel me but you know, on social media, I'm like, oh man, this is cool. I be thinking I hear something. Nah, man, do not fall for it, okay? By falling for social media, you create alternate realities that only entice or build somebody's motive that they're trying to create. So you're like putting your energy into their manifestation. So you're manifesting someone else's goal. TV is much more different than what you can even believe it. It's actually more like a trap. It's the most highly prized weapon ever, ever. I know, I know. Because you do not perceive or understand what has been altered. 
yes, I'll say that word. I won't say it's been altered, manipulated. You feel me? So you look at things different. You create certain, like say for example, after you watch a scary movie, you after that, I bet you went on feeling the fear of that. I know, movies impact us. They actually make us create the external world outside. So if you don't want to create an external world that doesn't benefit you, we actually got to stop believing TV. I know, some very powerful information. And take it from a dude that will watch movies all day for about 10, 12 hours. Just to escape the reality of being in foster care and not having any any foster care. I mean, any parents, any foster parents. I mean, I didn't have any parents or foster parents. The foster parents is hard to come by when you're a foster kid. Like, they get those to the, basically like the ones who have, who are up on top of the list. Yeah, you get rated. And who has the best rating? Get the foster home. And if you don't have a best rating, basically meaning that if you have a lot of stuff that's written in your profile, you don't get homes. You basically, you get facilities. Yeah, close to detention centers. You get facilities and you in your room for about six hours and you're on a point system and you got numbers. <laughs> and you can't wear your own clothes <laughs> or, or eat your own food or step out without being called a runaway. 